Okay, I'm John, um, I'm an engineer. I'm going to show you how to test a magnetic speed sensor. These are found on treadmills, exercise bikes, cross trainers, and they're used as a fairly simple and crude way of detecting speed. Uh, to do this test, you're going to need a multimeter, um, a paper clip, or two paper clips, uh, it's your speed sensor, and a magnet. Now, there's a good chance the magnet is already going to be on your machine because when this is in position, what you tend to find is that the speed sensor is held in a little clip and nearby it, usually mounted on a, on a wheel or the side of a pulley, will be a magnet. It probably won't look like that, that one. Um, it will probably be a, a little round magnet. It might even be sat in a pocket. But you need to check the magnets there because the speed sensor won't work unless you have a magnet. It's a magnetic speed sensor. And the idea is, is that as the magnet passes in front of the speed sensor, there's a little switch inside here which opens and closes and that gives a signal, an electrical signal through the wires. Um, so I, I'm going to leave it to you to, to check, visually check that your magnet's there and check that it is a magnet. Um, and uh, I'll show you how to actually test the speed sensor using the multimeter. So first of all, set the multimeter to continuity or at the beep test. Most meters have this. This is the most convenient because when you put the probes together, your meter should beep. So it's a nice, simple way of detecting uh, whether the switch is open or closed. You'll see what I mean in a moment. The next thing you need to do is attach the end of your probes to the end of the connector. So on my connector here, there's just the two wires on this one. Um, if your speed sensor has got three, four or five wires, then it's probably not a magnetic speed sensor, in which case you'll need to do a different style of test. But I'm going to get my paper clip. This is obviously what I've cut in half. I use this quite a lot and I'm just inserting the ends into the ends of the connector here. This is simply to allow me to connect my probes easier. Especially as I need about three pairs of hands to be able to show you this test. Um, but the idea is, is that if you can connect your end of your probes to the contacts, then when you put the end of the sensor near the field of the magnet, your meter beeps. So in normal operation, your magnet's going to be going round and the machine will be getting a pulse like that. So what the test is, is simply to hear that beeping noise. If, the, if you get a beep like that, when your sensor's near the magnet, and then the beep goes when you move the sensor away, you know that your speed sensor is in good condition. If you have, uh, well, if you're particularly uh, good, with your, good with your hands, you, can, you might well be able to get your probes onto the end of the terminals there without using the paper clips, but but it is a, quite a convenient way of doing the test. Just put the paper clips in the end, just like that. Put your probes onto the end of the paper clips and then the sensor goes near the magnet. And that's it, nice simple test. Uh, if you've got any questions, give me a call. Otherwise, uh, good luck.